Hey guys, welcome back to JD Mods. Today I'm going to be making a how to video to show you how to fix your window switch if you have a slow window or the switch is not working altogether. So we're in my 93 Lexus GS300, but I'm sure this trick will work with uh, lots of different makes and models, especially from the same era. Um, so I'll show you guys what happens in my Lexus here. My key's in the on mode. Um, so this is the driver window switch. Uh, down, it works pretty well. Up, it's definitely slower. And then for the passenger, uh, so front right, I'm allowed to put it down. But when I pull up on it, nothing happens. But the window works because if you use the passenger window switch, it goes up slowly, but it does go up. And then I think my two rear ones, down, up, down, up. Okay, so with this window switch, the front left is slow on the up, but the biggest problem is that the passenger window button does not pull up the window at all. So the first step is to remove your master window switch. To do that, I have these plastic trim remover tools. Uh, I believe I got these in a package of five from Princess Auto, but they sell them pretty much any automotive store. So the reason these are nice is you can remove plastic interior pieces without scuffing the uh, surface finish or your leather. So on this model, which is similar to lots of cars, there's clips at the front and rear. So I'm gonna get a little one of the smaller pry tools like this one, put it at maybe the rear and pry upwards. This one has been off before, so yours might not be that easy. But once you pry it up, you just kind of lift it out. There will be some sort of wiring harness attached, which you just push down on the tab and pull it out. Let's take this into the garage to fix it up. Here we are in the shop. I've got my defective window switch and a, a few tools. Just a Phillips head screwdriver to take it apart, um, some scotch Bright, some sandpaper, and a little wire wheel. So let me show you what uh, we have to do to fix it. So if you flip over your master window switch, you'll see there are a bunch of screws. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take them off. Usually they're Phillips from what I've seen. Of course you want to be very careful because uh, these are just going into molded plastic. So be careful taking them off. And definitely when you're assembling, you don't want to assemble with much torque at all. Uh, so the three big screws that I'm removing now are likely just going to remove the buttons from the trim. Which is of course another option if you don't want to repair. Uh, you can just replace this, the button portion, and keep your trim if it's in good condition. But we're going to try and repair this because it's free. Uh, now you can see we have more screws um, that will separate the two halves to show us the internals of the buttons. So I'm just going to go ahead and take those off. I've taken out all seven screws in my case, and now we should be able to separate the two halves to show the interior. All right, so there's the first half. We can see a little bit of the circuit board, but I want to see underneath the buttons themselves. The next step might be one of the trickiest steps. Uh, we have to remove the toggle switches. And to do that, each toggle switch has a little axis, like an axle almost in the middle, and has these little feet on the outside. And you can see if you take a really tiny screwdriver and pry up, you can just move it off the axis. I guess the problem is, is that there's one on the inside and the outside. So how I would recommend doing it is prying off the inside first, and then the outside. Um, and when they come off, you can see the actual button underneath. And the reason we're taking these off is so we can push the circuit board out of the housing. So just go ahead and remove all the toggle switches. I removed all the toggle switches and put them in the same configuration as they were on the, the master switch. So now we should be able to push this through the board, um, pushing down all the white toggles. Now we can set this aside carefully, and now we have found our master circuit board. Okay, so the next step is where it starts to get kind of technical. 
Um, you can see each switch has its own little little box. And what I did is used a very small flathead screwdriver. And you can see there's little tabs on the ends of the boxes. So if you pry underneath it, it's kind of tricky, but eventually you will get it to pop up. And one thing to note is that each box also has a little LED, but the way the LED feet are soldered in and the plastic molded around it, you can actually, once you pry up those little tabs, lift up the box and it kind of like rests on the LED and that allows you to see inside. So that's what you're seeing here. Once I opened up one of these boxes, um, I found these two little toggle rockers. Uh, there's little metal sawhorses, seesaw kind of things. And that I believe is what uh, transmits the power when you want to go up or down on your window. Now the first thing you'll notice is once I pop this up, the amount of like carbon build up in here, all that black. And this cavity here, uh, and this one over here, I know it's a little dark, but uh, hopefully you can kind of see how how black that is. So the most important step right now, we're gonna go ahead and clean all that carbon off. Okay, so to clean that carbon off, um, originally I was thinking something like a Dremel with a really small wire wheel, but as you can see on this one, they're really tiny. I can potentially use this Dremel to clean the carbon off of these rockers um, because I can get at them quite easy. So I might do a little bit of that, but for the actual pockets inside that plastic cover, I'm gonna use some Q-tips dipped in some 99% alcohol. So let me go ahead and clean it all up and show you guys how it looks. I've cleaned up all the contacts, there they are. Um, you can compare them, we'll put up on the screen the screenshot of it before. Looks a lot cleaner. You can actually see the metal now. So the theory is, is that the carbon was preventing the current from contacting the metal. So I used my isopropyl alcohol and Q-tips. You can see got a lot of the carbon. And then I actually used my Dremel with a little brush head on the end. And that did a really, really good job. And then I wire wheeled these little sawhorse things. So now I can go ahead and put it all back together um, basically just the sawhorses go just like that loosely in there and then when you toggle the buttons it just like teeters on the sawhorses just just pay attention on how yours comes apart to make sure that you reassemble it correctly because every model is probably a little different for reference this is how they went back together on the 93 Lexus GS300 model I'm now going to clip the plastic cover back closed and we will check to make sure everything functions as we expect it to. The cover is back on. Uh, the only tricky thing was making sure the plastic cover lined up properly with the LED. I can now kind of just bend the LED legs back where they came from. And you can kind of test it with your finger, pulling it back and forth. And it should sound like it does when you roll up your window. So. That one is done. Uh, while we have it out, I'm going to go ahead and clean up the rest and then we will go put it back in the car. I've cleaned all the contacts and now all we have to do is reassemble it the opposite way we disassembled it. Here we go. All right, so I reassembled the master window switch and installed it in the car, the reverse of the removal. Uh, now we're gonna test it out and see if it worked. Turn my key to the on mode. Um, I'll roll the window down, which worked before. And now I'll roll it up. So there you go. Now uh, when I'm driving down the highway, and I want to roll my passenger window up, I can do that without risking everyone around me. So if you want to fix your window switch for free, uh, that's how I do it, and it works well. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more how-to videos and vlog-style videos of our cars, please subscribe.